According to documents we've received from the Bureau, the FBI was aware that several violent extremists already under investigation were preparing to travel to Washington in January. In December, FBI Atlanta issued an alert that certain militia groups were preparing for a significant event in January, perhaps on Inauguration Day. And on January 5th, a report from FBI Norfolk warned about specific calls for violence at the Capitol the next day, some of them graphic. We know that the Norfolk report made it to the FBI's Washington field office in advance of the attack. And yet, for days after the attack, the head of that field office insisted that it had, that it had received no intelligence suggesting anything other than First Amendment activity. Director Ray, the warnings coming in from around the country were clear. Here in Washington, the, did the FBI simply miss the evidence, or did it see the evidence and fail to piece it together? Well, Mr. Chairman, uh, as you could imagine, we are just as outraged by what happened on January 6th and just as determined to do our part to make sure that never happens again. Now, the Norfolk report that you referenced uh, was a specific piece of raw, unverified intelligence that emerged on January 5th, the day before, from a source online, unvetted, uh, and despite the raw nature of it, it was quickly passed not one, not two, but three different ways to the Capitol Police. Obviously, any time there is an attack, especially one as significant as this one, uh, you can be darn sure that we are going to be looking hard at how we can do better, how we can do more, how we can do things differently in terms of collecting, analyzing, and disseminating intelligence.